Okay, there's a local recording. So I'm gonna start that over. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a super rough any percent tutorial that I'm just throwing together. Kind of intended for those who uh, wanna just jump right into the category and, you know, already understand most of the glitch tech, save maybe Hotshot. Everything else is just gonna kinda be assumed that you know. I'll link plenty of videos in the description explaining some of the more complicated concepts that you may not know. And I'm just trying to adjust my hair to where it's not in my eyes. Oh my god. Anyway. So yeah, well actually, I should... You always restart your game before each run. You do that for any category in this game. Alright, and now, uh, new character, we're gonna go for Scoundrel. Uh, male or female, doesn't matter. I usually pick female. Attributes. We stack strength. We take 15 constitution. And then, uh, it gets, yeah, 14 wisdom. There we go. So, 18 strength, uh, 15 constitution, 14 wisdom. Alright, skills, stack comp use, security, and persuade. Alright, uh, weapon focus melee is going to be your starting feat. Name, pick a great name, and that's the character build. This is still up to some debates. This is what I do. Um... You know, kind of like, find what your personal preference is if you're not into this, it's kind of whatever. Anyway, so like basically every glitch heavy category, you're going to start off with the opening hard buffer. Ooh, that was a bad buffer on my part, but anyway, so you just buffer that. You know, usual stuff, loot the footlocker, equip the short sword. And out the door you go, you mash your trash with the conversation okay. once, mash do it again, click OK, turn around, mash your parks conversation, and make your way for the door. You're gonna security that, give uh, trash the other blaster, you know, basic stuff. Most of this will be very similar to things like NMG and in some ways glitchless and and all quests, it's just, you know slight differences. As far as the micro here, uh, there's tutorials for that elsewhere and other people that need to teach you. I'm just here to give the basic route, so. Alright, so this is where they start to differ from NMG. We're going to do our first uh, AMG, Anywhere Menu Glitch. A menu glitch essentially just allows us to arbitrarily unpause in places that we're not supposed to. There's plenty of other tutorial videos for that, and I'll be sure to show that. Here I'm going to do a quick save AMG, so people do a quick load version. It's up to you. Nevertheless, once we get through this conversation, we're going to cancel, swap the Trask, and we're going to run him up to this door. Uh, he can run the rest of the distance by queuing him with default action, so that way you can start moving the main character sooner by matching Flourish weapon. Get air to around this position here. And then you're going to throw a grenade at this guy, hope she kills them all. If she does, this will start immediately because you're matching on the door. You can just match this conversation here. Cutscene, whatever you want to call it. Hope it goes quick. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, Alright, the main character runs in, crash guns the people down. You can ignore this lady, you don't need her stuff. Open the door, run in, trash guns some people down. Ideally, you want to kill them all in one hit. I got some bad luck here. I didn't have to do that. Alright, you save skills, feats. You're gonna take two weapon fighting, so you can just hit enter again. You don't have to click anything. And just click OK and go through there. So, yeah, two weapon fighting, save skills. Here, again, it's just like NMG in all quests. You just buffer this real quick. So notice, the last quick save we did was right here. Remember that, this was the last place we quick saved. Alright, so we're gonna go to the starboard section. Run forward a bit, mash this conversation. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hard save, preferably in the first slot. Then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna quick load AMG. So since we quick loaded, it brings us back here to the command deck. And since we've AMG'd, we have this up. So you're gonna hit, by default, O to open your options menu whatever your options button is. Have both OK highlighted and save gang highlighted. This is what we're doing is called a hot shot. 
So since OK and Save Game are both highlighted, you can just hit Enter. And now the Save Game menu is open behind the main menu. So we're going to use our arrow keys to navigate to the save that we want to hotshot to. Since we saved in the first slot, that's what we're hotshotting to. So I just hit the down arrow once, and then I can click Load Game. And you see the title has changed to Quick Save in all caps. Say, for example, you overshoot it like this and go down too low, you can just click Cancel and hit the up arrow, and you should be back on it. If none of them change their name, sometimes just canceling and then going up and down can fix that. Anyway, so just a little brief explanation of what just happened. So this took us back to the command section from the starboard section. And in doing that, um, so whenever you go to the starboard section, it removes your invincibility. But whenever you hotshot somewhere, your character reverts to the last status they were in. And while we were on the command deck, we were still invincible, so we got reverted back to our invincible state. And so, since that script is already run, it's not going to run again, and we will remain invincible for the remainder of the game. Alright, the rest of the Inner Spire is pretty standard for your all-quest NMG and even kind of glitchless routes. That conversation is 2-3, same thing as it usually is. Head through the door, usual stuff. As always, you lose red guy. If red guy's not here, I'll be a bandolier. Get the prototype fiber blade. Mash this garbage. Okay, so there's kind of a swag trick here. You don't have to do it, but um, if you can, try an AMG on this load screen. Immediately cancel and then free look. It'll save two seconds. You don't have to do that. It's, I'm just throwing that out there that it's an option. There you go. That will cut off about two seconds from this cutscene. Alright. That's not required at all. You can just watch that. It's no big deal. Anyway, you come in here. You do the usual wake up scene like normal, and this Karth conversation is the same thing it always is. 43253. Same thing as an MG. You run straight for the door, you click it. Okay. This only needs one quick save to buffer it, and you can start running. And you can go ahead and just AMG out here. Some people will do it on the exit from there. Anyway, once you're AMG, you're just going to run right into Lorene's trigger. It's going to be one, two, four to start the cell. What you're going to do is you want to sell your security spike in like two parts. And then go to buy. What you're going to do is buy the Vibro Sword, which um, since it costs over 100, you should get a pop-up. What this is going to do is it's going to replace the AMG pop-up. So you'll hear this sound, the little click. Once it's done that, you want to buy cheaper items to put yourself under 132 credits. Like that. Now, if I hit OK, you'll see I'm in the negatives now. So if we if talk to Lorim again and hit 3, the shop. After that, we're going to buy a battle stem, two conks, and we're just going to spam frags for a little bit. Alright, that should be enough. So, notice that I purchased the Vibro Sword, which we'll put in our main hand. We have the Proto Blade that we picked up, which we're going to put in our offhand. And we also have the... Uh, bunch of grenades, concussion, and a battle stem. And that's it. And we'll also we'll have infinite credits for the remainder of the game. So we hop out the door. Standard stuff. And we're gonna make our way over to Zelka's just like we do in basically every other category. Keep that nice diagonal line. Yeah. Ignore woman parts behind us, that's good. Right, when you get around here, you can solo mode, Q player on the door, Karth on the other door. So like they're splitting up and they're running to the opposite doors. Come in here, oh I just, that rarely happens. When you're around like right here, you're close enough to talk to Zelka. And you hit five, scroll down, and you just buy a bunch of alacrities and like one stam and one strength. That's all you really need. And I'm gonna go in and do the equips. So it's one, two, three, four. Oh, well, uh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five to uh, get to your usable page. I was off by one because I was showing you the new items. Anyway, so on Carf, you'll get the alacrity. And you're gonna swap and you go alacrity, stam, strength, stim. And you can swap back. So Carf gets an alacrity and main character gets a full stim suite. 
as soon as you close, you're immediately going to AMG and GIF, like so. Ready. So yeah, by GIFing, you just click cancel, mm -hmm. swap, click the option, main character's here now. Anyway, you're going to immediately run backwards, Gap which triggers extension. this. You throw one of your mini frag grenades, smash this, car takes us through here. And we start running towards the north apartments. It just takes one quick save and a load to make sure that the player follows you. It's almost guaranteed that the player won't follow you here unless you do that. Because, you know, party AI. You know, that's just how it'd be. So yeah, you make your way to the north apartments. Standard stuff. As soon as you get in the north apartments, it's solo mode. And you're going to queue the main character security on this door. So you just click and hit 2. As soon as you hear the security sound, you're going to swap back. And see the door finishes. You'll put her face to face with Largo, just like up in his grill. And you can just hit default action, and this conversation's gonna be 2 2. Please. And then you spam, Ready. switch back to Karth, and keep running. When you see the green thing up there, you'll know that he's dead. This is a slow fight. There you go. You mash this, immediately level up the main character, just save skills, and you can just start running the main character. Briefly swap the Karth and queue up some attacks. While you're running on the main character, queue him on this door, Kark switches back, and loots some remains. What? We're here at this door, what? Uh, so it's just an AMG, goes through, Ready? swap, backward, and he's out the door. You can do those buffered if you want, if you're really good at that, you know, that's up to you. You switch the Sith armor on the car, and you make sure that you're still solo mode. Ready. Since Karf has alacrity, this is nice and quick here. We'll just run him up to that corner. I'm gonna go in and get the uh, GIF started. That's something you can do in any, uh, any percent. You can run with the GIF active. And it's around here that you can get, just like it is in NMG. And you can just go straight through. We do the transit point right here by the elevator. So return the hideout and transit back. So that way that that's all set. All right, you can immediately solo Ready. mode, take Karth right here. He's going to buffer this right quick. You don't need nearly that many quick saves. I was just kind of going for it there. And whoa, I just totally ran into a wall. Don't do that. Anyways, he can like run towards a hidden back. And main character can just run up to these dudes, grenade their faces, Ready. and start attacking. Yeah, you want the main character to kill all those people. You can take the Sith armor off of Karth. When the main character is done, which Ready. she is now, you click the door, not the person, the door. By clicking the door, they both teleport here, and so you can enter the hidden back base. Entering the hidden back base, we're going to solo mode again, what? main character runs forward, what? Karth runs back, and we're just going to go running across the room. When, as soon as you get the chance, cue the main character's Ready. movement. Set up a gift with Karth. I'm here. You're going to get her in here and attack the sentry Ready. droid. Then you're going to go run with Karth. Karth doesn't need to get too far, like here is just fine. I queue him to the door just to be sure. Usually quick save before this for safety. We're gonna kill Gadan and Kira. Who are you? It doesn't matter what you hit for that combo. Alright, some people have been changing this up a bit. I'm doing a frag grenade here and uh, a conk and hoping they both get stunned. Ready? None of them got stunned, that's fine. We're just gonna take out Kira first. I'm She's here. the more dangerous of the two. Oh. And since the main character is invincible, we should be fine. Ready. Car can do what's going on. Ready. Ready. What? Ready. What? Ready. What? There you go. Both dead. And main character's done. As soon as they're dead, you can exit around this corner here. All right. So now for the fake level up. So I'm going to show you this kind of slowly. Fake level up's a bit of a learning curve. And anyway. So, how it works is that uh, the fake level up, by using an AMG, we can swap to a different character so we don't consume our level up. And we can essentially keep taking level ups until we get to a cancel condition. The cancel condition we're going to use is an attribute. I'll be sure to show you all of this, I'm just briefly explaining it beforehand. Anyway, so, um, yeah. The idea is we are going to swap level 4 for level 88 to get all those skill points that we've gathered up getting there. And yeah, we'll show you that. So you start off with an AMG, and you know, open the player menu. You can immediately cancel, and hit click the level up button. 
uh, all you have to do now is if you hit tab, your character disappears. That means you're now selected on Karth. Only hit tab once. So yeah, players disappeared, and you can start leveling. For the attribute, we are going to take recommended. Some people prefer to do charisma. It's whatever is easier for you. If it's easier to arrow over this and do charisma, then you do that. If it's easier for you to click recommended, do that. I'm going to be doing the recommended method. You click OK. Always save your skills. Accept. Swap back. And now you can level essentially infinitely, pseudo-infinitely. So yeah, we're just going to start doing that. You always save skills, feats, don't matter, whatever is quickest for you. I usually take recommended. Attributes, always recommended. Always save skills, always save skills. Feats. And there's a million techniques for doing this quick. Like, some people like just have different approaches to mashing it, some people like to be more precise and know the exact buttons they click, get a rhythm going. Like, if you're good at rhythm games or, you know, percussionist or something, you could definitely have a good time with this glitch if you really work out the buttons that you need to press. Anyway, once you get past level 20, you won't be getting feats anymore, just uh, attributes, so you can actually go a lot faster. Also, you could do those starting levels a lot faster too. I was just doing it kind of slowly to explain what's going on. But so yeah, you're just going to keep taking recommended attributes and saving your skills until you get to level 88. So I'm just going to kind of speed this up a bit. Notice you get attributes every four levels, so it's a very consistent pattern. Same amount of enter presses and up presses every single time. Because what I'm doing right now is I'm matching enter and I'm using up to select the OK to get the uh, recommended skill. Sorry, not the recommended skills, the save the skills. And I'm clicking my mouse for the recommended button. Here we are at level 88. Once you're at level 88, instead of taking recommended, you're going to take constitution, bumping it up to 16. Once you've done that, skills, you're going to dump all the way up to 45 computer use, which is the max, so you don't have to remember it. So it's max comp use, max security. You can do this quickly by using the arrow and the click at the same time. Uh, max, yeah, and then it's just more than 21 persuade. As soon as it's above 21, you're all set. You don't need the rest of these skills. If you want to be crazy, you could take treat injury, but you're invincible. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, so you could just... Uh, go through that, and now if you look at this, you'll see computer use is 44, security is 93, la di da di da. Plenty of people who can help you workshop your flu and do it faster, but the basics are AMG, cancel, start the flu, character swap, make sure that you uh, always take recommended attributes and save all skills until the very last level. And yeah, that's how the fake level up works. So I'm, I always save afterwards so I don't have to redo it. Here, now that we have an incredible amount of security skill, we can unlock this lock. Done. If you notice that um, the DC on this, we rolled a 113 to unlock that DC 100 lock. So getting out of here, there used to be an XP breakpoint where you needed to kill people. Now essentially you just need to get out and survive, we are kind of ignoring the XP. Still it's nice to kill a couple people. Look at that, Karf survived. If you have to use a med pack on Karf there, it's no big deal. At this point, you can kick him out of the party. You don't need him anymore. Alright, so immediately we're going to stick our nose in the cantina. And all we're going to do is we're just going to save in our second slot. Keep the first slot open, you're going to need it for something else. Actually, now that I think about it... Here, I'm going to redo that real quick. Instead of saving it in the second slot, I'm actually going to put it here in the third slot. Because you notice it's named Fast Me, so it's, this is the Fast Lane slot. Uh, sorry if that's confusing, because yeah, you're going to be using this as your Fast Lane later. I forgot we started doing that. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's where, whatever slot your Fast Lane is in. Just don't, make sure you don't put it in the first or second slot. <laughs> I really that's confusing. Just, bottom line, save it somewhere. That's what really matters the most. Save it somewhere that's not going to be overwritten. 
Anyways, you get to Volk our base interests. You can use security to break in through this impossible lock. And we've just sequence breaked past the first half of Terrace. So yeah, Camden's gonna come talk to us. You can just mash this, recite the conversation with him if you like. Kutichani. Mulira Shokturum Uli Bakdona Wokachona Tize. Yeah, you get this a couple mashes in here because sometimes it gets kind of stuck at uh, waiting for the guy to turn around and walk away. There you go. Alright, this only takes one quick save, the buffer. You can immediately run forward. Alright, this trick is a little trickier. We're gonna skip uh, the first swoop race. The way you do this is by artificially failing three swoop races. The process is pretty straightforward. We do an AMG start out. Have be selected on cancel, talk this guy. You mash your mouse to get to here. Notice that cancel and the first option are both selected. So by hitting enter, we can select those both. After hitting enter, I'm gonna immediately quick save and I'm gonna quick load. Notice that when I quick loaded, I AMG'd again. So that way I don't teleport over there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what happens if you don't do that. You see, you get teleported and you don't like that. That's not good. So that's why you, what you do is you click him before you unpause. I'll show that you on that. Yeah, I'll show you that on this time around. So you do the same thing again. This is your second time. And so you see, if I click him before unpausing, it just starts the conversation, which is what you want to do. This is the third time. And this time you just need to pause before you teleport away. And so we're actually doing the race. We are now on the second race by doing that and you've skipped the first race. So if you do that in quick succession, it's much faster than racing the first race. If you're not quite comfortable with that yet, you can just do the first race. It's only slightly slower. Smooth racing, same thing as it is in other categories. You know, you can do the shift trick and all that kind of stuff. Just take some practice. Don't go into the last year, you know the drill. The way I always handle this buffer here is uh, I'll just be hitting F4 and enter at the same time so you can catch it in the middle of this cutscene and skip Frederick. Whoop. There you go. Rotate around and we're just going to run to Basila. You pop right away. This next buffer sucks. Anybody that's done like NNG has definitely dealt with this before because there's a long artificial fade in for this one. Anyway, once you get past it and you've buffered in, you can skip all the plot and we're gonna head out to the apartment complex. You can go in and add them now or later, doesn't make a big difference. I'm gonna add them later. Uh, so yeah, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna be doing a map CS skip here. If you're not comfortable with CS skips, you can buffer that. Either way, we're gonna be transiting back to the transit point we made earlier. So this will teleport us all the way to the other side of the terrace, and we're already ready to go to the governor's office and finish here. Since we didn't do the XP breakpoint, we're going to be running with alacrity instead of force speed. So that wastes a little bit of time, but the time we saved by not killing people for the XP ends up making up for it. And so we're going to run over to the military base and start doing some security. While we're doing the security, we'll go ahead and add our party members in. Also, the security didn't actually start, so that's kind of wasted. Anyways, when we get in here, you can just mash this. Try and move some before the conversation, if possible. Anyways, alright, and I always solo mode here. This conversation has changed a bit recently, and make sure I don't mess this up. It's one, one, six, three, four, eight, three. One, one, six, three, four, eight, three. One, one, six, three, four, eight, three. Anyway, so we're solo moded. I'm gonna queue movement with the main character towards this door. Uh -huh. Karf's gonna turn around. I accidentally hit quick load instead of quick save. I am a garbage person. We all guys get to see that again. <laughs> Here, I'll do it really quickly this time. That was really dumb. I don't know how I managed that. Oh god, and I walked down here too. Just. Uh, am I going to edit this video? I'm probably not going to edit this video, so I'm too lazy, so I'm not going to cut this out, so just pretend you didn't see that. Anyway, we're uh, running towards the Sith base. Let's do this again. Alright. Start 
that up. Grab these folk. Done. Door open. We run inside. You can move before the load screen finishes. So which puts us right here. Solo mode. One, one, six, three, four, eight, three. Let's turn around. What can I do? I'm just going to quick save right here to make sure we don't mess that up. Mine's one. there. He's going to go with one of these. Through the door. Yes. One. Main character's in here. Main character goes to this corner. And so we click the button. This gives us all the way to the elevator, which is now open. You're going to run to the other side of this droid, and with an AMG, activate this door, cancel, quick sit, quick load. Like so. Door. AMG. Click. Cancel. Quick save. Quick load. And as soon as the load is done, you're going to run straight forward through the elevator. By doing the door there, that teleports your party members to you so they can make it through here. Now to kill the governor with grenades. This kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to make things a little easier. And we're going to give Karf uh, improved power blast here. That's optional. It's up to you. Nevertheless, we're, let's go for it. Ready. I'm going to save right here to make sure. You don't have to run in there. You can just open the door from here. And so yeah, we're gonna start off. Bastila is absolutely useless in combat, so she's throwing grenades the whole time. And then Karth and I are gonna figure out the rest. And Bastila, keep throwing. And that's a good governor fight. Always loot the governor. As soon as the governor is dead and looted, you're going to save the game in the first slot. This will overwrite your starboard section. Then you're going to load into, um, well this would have been the third slot, they're both the same thing. You're going to load your fast lane slot, is what you're going to do. And then once you're here, you're going to quick save AMG. The quick save is important because it needs to have a quick save on this module. Select exit game, which uh, will replace this pop-up. Have high, uh, save game and OK highlighted as always. Hitting enter, it's going to be down once to get the quick save here. Notice the location you want to go to is the text and the image is the save you're moving. So we're going to move uh, the governor's office to Javier's Cantina. And like so, here we are in Javier's Cantina. Uh, just make sure that we hit this trigger here for Candor's to spawn. Also, I did not mean to run through that door. I guess well, one way or the other it's going to work. Because basically, you just need to run in here and get to Candorus. Okay. So here we go. Candorus is here. We could just smash through this and say it's going to be two, is going to be the second to last option there. So it's like one, 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 two, one. Anyways, Candorus in the party, doesn't really matter. Get ready for two AMGs in a row. So here's the first one. You unpause, cancel, and then you do a free look, which will skip the scripted cutscene for the last node. Here we have another one. We're going to A and G here during the load screen. Uh, unpause. So, and we're going to start, we need to mash this a little bit with mouse. We're going to be one, one, and then you can cancel, and then quick save and quick load. By doing that, we cancel out of the cutscene while we are in the hangar, so we can immediately steal the Evanhawk. Do not forget to equip the Sith armor. Sith armor is very required and very important in this route. Anyway. So now we're off to Dantooine. So yeah, be ready to map CS skip, you know, normal stuff. That skips the entire midsection and we are I'm all the way to Dantooine now. If you're good, you'll be faster than Bastila. <laughs> faster than Fastila. She will open this door for you because she has a trigger that does that automatically. Uh, buffering Belaya sucks, it always sucks. Let's deal with it. There you go. Alright, now for this AMG trick is really touchy here. So what we're gonna do... Also, I don't know why I'm stuck in the running position. Okay, you're gonna AMG. And the idea is, is that while our AMG here is open, we're gonna open buffer into the council conversation. And the idea is you're not gonna be cancel this, canceling this AMG until after the third option, two nodes in. I'll show you exactly what that means soon, but essentially just... Uh, don't accidentally cancel is what I'm mostly telling you. So let, let's do this. Once the fade-in stops, you're all good. You start massing a click. 
Master Vanda. All these options here will just be one, like they are in the other categories. Master Doran, Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. So we have one, two, three. Are you certain? Cancel, save, load. While it's loading, you're gonna AMG. Before you unpause, hit tab. Then unpause. Bastila. And you could just mash this all once and clicks. As soon as the montage starts, you cancel, quick save, and then quick load. And what this does is this puts the main character here and Candor is right next to Jar. Jar is the one we need to talk to. And then we are going to talk to him again. One, one, six, three, two, six. Oh, I accidentally hit three instead of four. My bad. One, one, six, three, two, six, four. There we go. As soon as that's done, uh, you can uh, talk to Dorak right here, to Candorus. And you just mash this like always to get Guardian. This is going to be our last level up of the game. Here, we are, it doesn't matter what feat you take, nobody cares. Powers, take uh, Affect Mind. And yeah, that should be that. Oh wait, sorry, not Affect Mind. We take, no, yes, we do take Affect Mind. Sorry, I'm getting the routes mixed up. Yeah. Take Effect Mind and Force Speed. That's what it was. Yeah. Effect Mind and Force Speed, safe skills, doesn't matter what the beats are. That's how it usually goes. Anyway, once that's all set, you can yeah. select Zar with uh, Candorous. No. And we're going to go construct a lightsaber. So they have just some efficient party strats there. This is mostly just for you to understand the route. You can watch people doing it faster later on, and that'll make stuff a bit more sense. Have four speed active, talk to Jar, you know, the usual stuff. The duck. The duck. So don't don't talk to him extra times like that. So it's almost guaranteed that Kinderus isn't going to follow you here, so it's good to go ahead and have an AMG active for the coming exit. So yeah, you know, the drill, book it for the exit, default exit on the Jedi droid. Here, you can just get Kinderus over here to save some time. If you're going out, you can go in an AMG, or you could do the AMG right here, doesn't matter when. And select Return to the Evan Hawk, just place that over. I just realized I made a mistake. Uh, when is my last quick save? Cancel. Here, we're, I'm gonna load this quick save real quick. I almost uh, totally forgot. Uh, we're just gonna redo this real quick. Sorry about that. This is making this tutorial slightly worse. While we are in here, we need to save our game. You could save it, because yeah, this is, it should be in the third slot. Javier's is here. This can be in the second slot. Okay, now you're ready to go running towards the courtyard. That was entirely my bad. I'm trying to do this in one take, and the title does say rough any percent. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're gonna run for the door. Come on, did I seriously miss you? And, yeah, Candorus needs to get over here. There we go, out the door. Now everything is as it should be. So yeah, like before, you pop up replace to return to Evan Hawk, pop up, make sure four speeds active. Because I messed up, my stims ran out, which sucks, like mega sucks. Anyway though, you know, four speed active, you soft buffer that, doesn't matter what Candorus does. We're gonna come over here and soft buffer this. You use default action to jump to things because the pop-up's in your way. These guys are in the wrong spot because I had to do this twice. So usually you can jump to them as well. Alright, you're going to stick your face up against this rock here and hit OK. Then you're going to immediately transit back. This sets a good transit point that we're going to use later. I somehow ran out of force speed again. This is not a very good route, but I guess it's because since I'm doing the slow run here, I'm not on the greatest uh, active effects cycle. Anyway, you're gonna aim for this load zone here, enter the grove. And so after we do Juhani, which is just like an NMG, we're gonna do a, another hotshot trick, but it's gonna break Candorus. So you're gonna kinda wanna avoid using Candorus for important things later. Anyway, so we start off, you know, soft up for this, talk to Juhani, you know the drill. As soon as they're here, we can save our game in the first slot. Then we're going to load our game from the second slot. We are going to click save, options, click the exit game button, save game and OK, hit enter, down once. So we're going to the Jedi Enclave, the picture's here. It did not change the quick save all caps, so what we're going to have to do is you cancel, down, up, 
that happens. But you see, just doing that fixes it. So we do the fast lane. And as you can see, main character is over here, but uh, Kander spawns at the location of the save, which is right next to Jar, whom we need to talk to. So we do that. We mash Jar real quick, swap back, and we are going to sprint over to Vandar. Alright, they add Bastila, we say we don't want Bastila, and so we say screw you and remove her. After that, you can immediately transit back, and you have no party members, and you spawn right here, where we did the transit point earlier. And yeah, simple stuff, like no normal, you hug the side here, avoid that cutscene, start the strange ruins, go inside, they're gonna forcibly re-add Bastila, it's no big deal. We're gonna go and grab Candors too, cause why not? All right, headed through here. You can soft buffer this, set up right here, make a quick save. Now is why we save this in the third slot. We're gonna load the fast lane and make sure you don't quick save while doing this. To avoid that, we're gonna do the AMG during the load in like so. All right, so you have an AMG. You immediately open the map and you click return to hideout. That replaces the pop-up. You close and then you quick load. Make sure you don't accidentally overwrite your quick save. Doing that brings the uh, uh, return to hideout pop up and back to the save. And so it takes some practice to get this angle just right. Oh god, I was about to sneeze there. But essentially the idea is you want to just be barely sliding across the door, and then you're going to do a sudden 90 degree turn and click OK, like this. That's called a slight angle clip. And just like that, Kander responds on the other side. And he's going to make his way towards the door. Some people like to AMG this. I say they're sissies. Just buffer it. It's easy. And look at that. We're all inside. All right, Coolio. And now that we're here, we want to... Um, we're just going to AMG this normally. There's an old way of doing it, but we just AMG it normally now. So you cancel. You can cast the force power. You're all good. Here, we're going to save the game over the first slot. We're going to load the second slot. And quick save AMG, quick save is important, click exit game, OK and save game selected, down once, quick save, going to the Jedi Enclave, you see the picture of the save you're moving, and just like that, here we are, main characters here, Karth and Bastila are here, if you were smart enough to give uh, Bastila force speed you could use here for movement here, I didn't do that, I'm not going to waste the time doing that, it's probably the last time we're moving with her anyway. So yeah, you just run up here, chat with Vandar, ah, and you mash this up. And we will summon you. Padawan, you have done well, well. In discovering this stuff. Alright, so there's two ways to get back to the Evan Hawk. There's the Gip, where you have Candor's here run to there and Gip each party member over. Or there's the fast lane method. Fast lane method is just a tiny bit faster if you do it well, so that's what I'm gonna do. So you quick save. Oop, don't save. Load your fast lane, save, AMG, turn to hideout, quick load, hit OK, quick save, load the fast lane, save again, AMG, map, turn to hideout, quick load. And just like that, you can return to hideout, and this will put you right next to the Ebonhawk, and you are done with dancing. Alright, I make a point of casting force powers during the dead frames there, because there's a couple of dead frames where you can't move your character, but you can still cast force powers before the Ebon Hawk starts. So doing that won't lose you any time, it won't cost you any force, and it'll let you move around quickly. I do that while I don't have save teleports. Later in the run, I will not be casting in the dead frames. Anyways, uh, in this current route, we're starting off with Manon. So yeah, you map CS skip, go in there. Normal stuff. We go. I'm going to cast in the dead frames again, just like that. All right, and Manon, see us skipped, and we're here. All right, starts off pretty easy. We have a quick clean soft buffer right here, and another quick soft buffer right here. And we're going to run up to this fella, and his conversation is going to be three. And we're going to run down here, and we're going to buy out all of his thermal detonators. Alright, as soon as that's done, you're just going to keep moving. 
Keep moving, keep grooving. Alrighty. I'm gonna teach you some of the traditions. Some old any percent traditions. There's two folk here that we're looking to talk to along the way for the good luck, for the good RNGs. Those two people are Bob and Steve. Bob and Steve are great fellas. But before you can talk to Bob and Steve, and you talk to the Port Authority, it doesn't matter what you tell them, just smash it real quick. They'll let you through. Talk to Bob. Walk through the door. That was Bob. He has a funny dialogue. Don't run under the sign of death. The sign of death is the run killer right here. Anyways, we're gonna head to the East Central Courtyard. Out we go. I see people do so many saves for this one. You only really need like one save, just like that, to do that buffer. Anyway, there's a soft buffer there, by the way. <laughs> this is Steve. Oh, I missed Steve. No. Greetings, Master Jedi. I hope Greetings, you know. Master Jedi. All right, and after talking to Bob and Steve, you can talk to Roland Wong. It's his combo is gonna be three, oh. and then a whole bunch of ones, just like it is in basically Happy every man. other category. Okay. Here we've got ourselves our first uh, door clip, our first, well actually we already did a door clip so that's wrong, but this is an easier door clip. You could just get kind of at a weird angle like that, and since you can already return to Ebon Hawk, you could just do it right here. Add your favorite party members, I'm picking these two goobers, transit back, Yes. and uh, Jihani's here. You could be crazy and cast force speed on her if you'd like, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, here we go. You can buffer this if you want. It barely saves time. There's a safety strat. If you want, you can loot this equipment pack. I'm going to go and do it because I'm giving a tutorial, but uh, it's not required by any means. It's just a quick safety strat. Anyway, try and get some sick force jumps while you're here. A lot of people recommend jumping to the second guy and not the first. That's your prerogative. You're invincible, so this is all pretty low risk. And your party members will probably kill a couple people, which is handy. Okay, four speed always runs out around here. Make sure you grab the Enviro suit. And then, this is optional. You don't have to grab the Sonic Emitter. I'm going to do it because it makes life so much easier. Okay, we're going to look out for the Sonic Hat Fight Club. You see, the invincibility really starts to come in handy here. Alright. Head for the airlock, out you go. Alright, you're gonna do another fast lane here, so you quick save, load, fast lane, A and G, return to hideout, quick load, and you are ready to transit back. Because we saved the Sith of the Skies by unequipping it and re equipping it, we can remove the scuba suits. Scuba suit gone, we can transit back. We still have four speed active. Since we took the sonic emitter, you can use it, the Sonic Buffer here. So that's nice. If you didn't, you're gonna have to hard buffer these things, which kinda blows. Alright. You're gonna just ignore the Firaxa. If they get in your way, you can Sonic Emitter them, but they probably won't. Alright, in you go. Take the mind to the face because you're invincible. Head out the door. So for this, you just you mash, the click, and blocks. default action to immediately get the door. And you just mash through this real quick. It's a simple soft buffer. After the soft buffer, we're out the pressure door again. Quick save. Load the fast lane. You know the drill. Do the fast lane. <laughs> Hide out, quick load. Okay, just to show you, see we get here, we're in the scuba suit, you take off the Sith armor and put it back on, we're not in the scuba suit, transit back, and you're ready to get running. It's recommended to go in and kill these Fraxa Sharks because they can also trigger the death trigger as well as yourself, and you don't want that. Anyways, we're going to buffer this death trigger, and if you don't have the Sonic emitter, you're going to have to hard buffer this. Anyways, we have to watch this cutscene, so sit back, relax, this is your very brief key break.
Okay, there's some people that make a save on the Evan Hawk and Hotshot back. That is totally an option. You're welcome to do that if you like. It saves a little bit of time. I haven't done that. I'm just gonna fast lane back. It's only slightly slower. It's definitely easier though. So here, I'm gonna do a quick fast lane. You should be very good at fast lanes right now. And you can just flip around and board the Evan Hawk. Dead frame cast. And in the route I'm doing, I'm going to Korriban next. Some people prefer to do Kashik next. It's totally up to you. You can learn about the different routes in the future. Anyway, also we're going to do our first dupe. The way you dupe is you just press whatever your equipment menu button is once during this. Uh, so I'm just going to hit U and then I'm going to go ahead and do my CS skip. Just like that. So yeah, there's no feedback or anything for it except for maybe a tiny click. Anyways, and by doing that, um, I have effectively begun to dupe. I won't, you won't see the effects of that until later. I'll show you when we start seeing the effects. But basically, before you, while you're in the galaxy map, before traveling to the planet, just press your equipment menu button, which for me is U. Anyways, um, early on here on Korriban, you can do save teleports. They're tiny and they are annoying, though they save the, a fraction of the time and they're controversial. I'm using four speed. Anyway. Two, two, three, two. You don't care about Shardan, so you can just buffer past it real quick. You're at that point in the game where your buffers really suck if you have four speed on, which can make these two skips kind of blow, which is is one pro to using the uh, four speed. There it goes. That took way too long. Anyway, you can also just watch those and mash them. That might actually be faster, to be totally honest. Anyway. Exit from Dredge Day. There's an optional Gip strat here. It barely saves time and only if you're just like outstanding at this game. How big are the safe teleports? Yeah, they're there. Alright, I'm just gonna four speed. Ugh, go. Okay, even though I look just like him, I am not a Sith. Alright, there's Utility Droid and Protocol Droid, everybody's favorite duo. Back to Dredge Day. And we're gonna go chat with Euthura. Usual conversation, three, four, two, three, one. I think that's what it is, is in other routes, I don't know. Three, four, two, three, one. Here you could do a quick force skip and run north on the map. So yeah, force skip, I just cast canceled, double task bur burst of speed. You should probably know how to do that if you're attempting any percent. Out to the valley. You could do a CS skip here. I'm just gonna hard buffer it. Hard buffer. Hi, Kalo. Bye bye. But we're heading this way now. Thanks for the follow, Darth Revan. I don't know who that is. We never see him in this game. Anyway, so yeah, you just kind of book it over for the Tomb of Naga Sado. Um, again, save teleports are optional. It's it's kind of like, because we do have a rule against excessive saving to like, you know, mess with the load removal. Though this does technically save some RTA. Honestly, it's kind of in the air. You, can, you make your decision. Anyways, when we enter the Tomb of Naga Sado, all you need to do is just make a hard save. Uh, you can overwrite uh, the Enclave save, you're not going to need that anymore. After that, if you have an Evan Hawk save, you can uh, hot shot back. If not, you can just walk outside and return to the Evan Hawk. Like so. Or you could fast lane if you really wanted to. There's options, there's lots of options in any percent. Anyway, um, my force speed's still active, but hopefully it runs out soon because we're going to be using some save teleports on Kashik. Because Kashik is where we go next, so you always hit do the hit your equipment button to dupe there. So that way you get more items. And you can just ignore this dude. And yeah, you can start save teleporting. And I suppose I didn't actually need to dupe the first time because I didn't pull any party members out, but that's fine. You'll start seeing the effects of it later. And so as you see, as I quick save while moving here, I'm starting to get some distance. If you've done any of our other glitch categories, you should know all about these. Alright, so we skip those guys, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to enter the Great Walkway, and then we are going to immediately turn around and come back. 
Well, actually, I, we are going to quick save out here and then turn around and come back. So we have a quick save there. Now we can add somebody to our party. I usually pick Juhani. Notice, now that we've picked Juhani, that our stims have jumped up from 7 alacrities to 14 alacrities. And our med packs have jumped up from 3 med packs to 6. It's just doubled our inventory. You'll notice that everything has been doubled. That's what the dupe was doing. Anyway, so you could stick her behind this dude right here and save the game in the first slot. That should be fine. So it's there. And actually, I messed this up slightly. While you're saving the game, you actually want to AMG like so. There you go. And in doing that, you can exit game and have both OK and save game selected. So remember, our quick save was in the uh, Great Walkway. And since we didn't quick save here getting this AMG, our quick save is still in the Great Walkway. Which means when we do this hot shot down once, you'll see our, locate, our destination is Great Walkway and our save we're moving is the one of Juhani standing right there. So that's that trick. Juhani's out here. We can get set up for a gip. What is it? And just like that, she gets gipped to the elevator, and that skips the entire great walkway. Alright, so once you're down here, I always solo mode immediately. We're gonna run for this, and I do two save teleports between the vines. It looks like, seeing as Juhani was rude to me, she spawned the Katarn in. If you skip the Katarn, awesome. If not, sucks for you. Anyways, for this, get AMG, cancel, and I just start free look walking until the camera angle changes, in which case I cast cancel to skip the conversation and start safe teleporting. Juhani will be left exactly where we need her because we left her solo mode. Different people do that trick different ways. I know Chaos uh, approaches it totally differently than I do. They're all equally valid. It's up for you to decide. You can, if you're lucky, you can buffer that guy's conversation. I screwed up and actually cast. So I'm going to quick load there to undo that cast. Uh, so yeah, you just want to tell them that you're leaving. <laughs> Sometimes, if you want, you could take the bounty to attack talk if you want to get force jumps. They honestly don't save that much time to save teleports. Anyway, guards. You want any one, one, three, one, two. Then you're going to mash the sonic device. Then the next guard, it's going you to be any one, one, two. And then you mash the sonic advice, the device and be ready to soft buffer. Like so. And then doing that, make sure Juhani doesn't die, and you're gonna take her over to Jolie. I just crashed my game. That was my bad. I did not think about that. I probably should have done a reset in there somewhere. Will I load this quick save? Oh, this does not look good. I'm gonna try loading the quick save. Nope, it is. Big dead. Okay. Looks like we are going to load the auto save, and I'm gonna do that all again, except this time faster. I'm here. Hey, look, I got guitar and skip this time. This route is slightly different on the memory, so my usual reset spot didn't happen. And yeah, you see the safe teleports start getting pretty darn good here. Alright, and I just skipped the guy's combo this time. And so it's 1, 1, 3, 1, 2. Mash. I accidentally terminated to the mashing. Mash, there we go. And then it's 1, 1, 2. Uh, mash, save, save, cast cancel, lock, then we're gonna save teleport right over to Jolie, that's where we left off last time. And here, just, it's gonna mash for a bit and then somewhere you have to say I'm leaving. I don't know the conversation, I know there's an exact conversation, I'm sure you can look it up. Anyway, uh, by doing that and making sure you add Juhani back to the party, she spawns over here, and you can save teleport with her all the way to the lower Shadowlands. If you took the TAC contract, you could have her do force jumps here, which are also quite quick if you get them lined up real well. Again, totally a prerogative. Alright, force field. 
uh, two. And yeah, if it's one, two, is that conversation. Same thing as it is in other routes. All right, so when we get here, we are going to, uh, let me think. I need to think about this for just a moment. Yeah, we quick save, and then we're gonna load the fast lane. All right, so notice our last quick save is here in this module. So we can return to hideout. All right, here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save our game over this. And like before, we're gonna AMG during the save game. All right, we can exit game, select save game and okay, enter, down once. And see, our destination is lower Shadowlands. The save we're moving is this one. It says quick save all caps. We're all set to go. And just like that, that will spawn Jolie and Juhani right by the star map. And we can just have one of them save teleport over there real quick. If you're hot shotting back to oh, totally got blown up. If you're hot shotting back to the Ebon Hawk, then you just AMG this. If you're going to fast lane back to the Ebon Hawk, you can go in and set up the fast lane here. So I'm gonna quick save, load the fast lane, AMG, map, hideout, close, quick load. Simple stuff. Uh, then without clicking OK, you just start this computer. There's a better conversation for this, but I do the version that's easy to remember, which is 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, 5, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1. Then you just select OK as soon as the animation starts, and you finish Kashik. Congratulations. All right. Since you have save teleports now, you can save teleport around on the Ebon Hawk. Uh, that takes a little bit of practice to do well. Anyway, next off, we're going to be going to Tatooine. So yeah, as always, you always dupe. You do our little uh, return here. Poink and poink. That was bad save teleport there. All right, another map CS skip. Here we are on Tatooine. You can force buffer this guy if you want. I just talked to him once, it's 115. Soft buffer, because you don't want Gizka. All right, and around here is usually when I would reset my game on the old route, so I'm just gonna do it here again, because there's an auto save. In truth, it's probably a bit different, because I had that game tra crash earlier. You're probably gonna have to figure out your own reset points, because the route's still fresh. Anyway. You're gonna quick save teleport over to the Zerka office. You're gonna to wanna to do a cast cancel right here. Talk to her. One, 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 three, two. Turn around, out the door. And what you do now is you just go one save teleport straight ahead. You're right here. Grab different party members from what you grabbed before. So I'm gonna grab Vassila and Karth. You'll notice in doing that, we are now up to 28 alacrities. So it doubled again. Sebastian and Karth are here, and they're already standing in a great spot where they are. What we're going to do is you can save this game over fast lane because you can return to the Ebon Hawk from here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to load into our Naga Sado save that we made earlier. Now we're going to quick save AMG. The quick save is important. Exit game. OK and save game selected. And now, so remember, our fast lane save that we made is in the third slot. So we're going to be going down three this time around. So. Enter, one, two, three. You can click load game. So you do see that the location is correct, Human Nagasado, and the save is correct, but the text didn't change. So you're just gonna go up and then down again. Text still didn't change. You're just gonna keep trying until the text changes. Sometimes you get these bad luck with your hot shots. There it goes. Text changed, location is Human Nagasado. Image is of the save we want to move. And like that, we load the save. And that will spawn Karth and Basila right where they need to be. Go in and just AMG yes. one of them and trigger the star map. You can immediately cancel, quick save, and quick load. Alright, quick save once more. Now you're going to load... Um, actually wait, no, sorry. Don't quick save once more. You're going to hard save once more. It doesn't matter if you do it over the landing port or Nagasado, I'm just going to do it over landing port. Actually, I'm going to do it over Nagasado. Yeah, we're doing it over Nagasado, and we're going to load in back at Anchorhead again, because we're going to take our way back here. 
I did not need to do that. Sorry. You could just... Because we need to have a quick save here. So a quick save AMG. And now we're going to hot shot back to Anchorhead. So it should only be down twice. Because I saved in the second slot. Location we're going to is Anchorhead. The save we're moving was the one in Nagasado. We load the save. It loads in. And just like that. Uh, you see we're back here. And right where we need to be. We can remove Kartha Bastila from the party. We no longer need them. And we can get save teleported. Oh, I kind of missed the mark there. That's my bad. There is a buffer here that you might hit. If you're probably save to teleport over it, though, at this point. Anyway, we're going to just beeline it for Billin. Since we talked to the uh, uh, discount lord so no over one. there in Zerka, we can just go straight through. There is going to be a soft buffer here. We'll probably carry it through the teleports. We're just aiming for the East Dune Sea. Off we go. I accidentally cast. Oops, that was my bad. I don't know how I managed that. Well, anyway. Alright, let's see if I can just get clean past this. Nah, not quite. Yup. Yeah. Blink. There we go. And then you just enter in through the rear. Alright. Now we have a crate skip incoming. Crate skip can be a little touchy. There's an easy way to do it and a hard way to do it. Uh, the hard way is definitively faster. Oh, oopsie. How did I manage that? This is what I get for talking while I'm trying to do stuff. Anyway. So you'll do a cast cancel to avoid uh, starting this. So the easy way is to cast four speed and just do this trick of four speed. The harder way is to do save teleports, which the nice thing about save teleports is that if you do it that method, you're guaranteeing that you won't have four speed whenever you get to Lahan, which will nerf your save teleports. If you want to learn the save teleporting method, get like chaos to show you or something. I don't feel like doing it right now because there's too much room for mistakes. I'm going to do the four speed method, like so. So you cast four speed, you're gonna like AMG, enter into this, immediately cancel and mash forward and free looks, and then you're gonna mash flourish to get out of his way and hide in these rocks. Then you can cast cancel and you're on the other side of the crate dragon. Looting this guy is optional, you don't have to. Um, it is handy for later. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is, um, we're here. We are going to uh, quick save, uh, load our fast lane. Map, for an Evan Hawk, quick load. Now, what we're gonna do is start this. As soon as you see the animation, you can just click okay, like so. And immediately turn around and reboard. And with that final uh, star map, we should have all of our star maps now. And you can see Lahan is here. So for the first travel to Lahan, again, you can always dupe. And you have to CS skip for your first travel. We still have this force speed, unfortunately. There's a good chance it will run out in time, though. All right, in case you happen to get fighters, be ready to AMG here. Also, the easier method is the AMG just even before entering this. But anyways, so yeah, you get fighters. If you don't get fighters, you just have to exit the ship normally. If you do, you hit Alt F4 again, and uh, then uh, like transit back. Sorry, return to Evan Hawk, and that will skip the fighter encounter. Don't need any party members. And if everything went right, you should spawn behind the Rakatan Warriors. And my force speed has run out, which is lovely. Anyway, so we are just going to get moving. Get moving and grooving to the end of the game. Alright. And yeah, there's an auto save here. I'm going to use it to reset my software because there's a good chance that my memory has gained a lot from all the save teleporting I've been using. So yeah, you come back in. You could just uh, hit enter on the auto save to load it immediately from the main menu. And here we go. Try your best to save teleport past these guys. If you don't, it's no biggie. It just makes life a little easier. When you get in here, snatch Jihani, 
or any party member, doesn't really matter. Notice that we now have 56 alacrity. <laughs> Alright, and try your best not to kill the Giska. You're invincible, so you can take these, many of these mines to the face as you like. Ship parts. Alright, so you immediately yes. tab back over to Jahani, who can gip you to the exits. Going through the exits, you want to immediately solo mode and make sure she doesn't follow you. And you're just gonna go save teleporting towards the temple right here. Now she's going to dip you what is it? inside of the temple. There's an optional door clip you can do, but honestly, the gip is just so free that there's no reason not to. Anyway, we're gonna try our best to avoid combat here and add Candor's to the party. All right, Candor's is in. Now, what we could do is we could do a quick save and grab a return to Ebonhawk and run inside. So notice I AMG to grab the Evan Hawk pop-up so I wouldn't have to fast lane in here. If you aren't able to do that, just do a fast lane because we're about to door clip this. And also if you forget to add candors, you can add them whenever you return to the Hawk. Anyway, time for the door clip. So just like the, it works just like the one on Dantooine where you're sliding across it slightly, then you turn 90 degrees. And I realize I've made a mistake. You don't want candors, you want Karth. That was my bad. So take Karf, not Candorous, because Candorous is broken because we did the thing with him in the grove. So Karf, not Candorous. Anyway, so we get back. Notice we now have 84 alacrities. Jihani got inside, good for her. It just takes one clean save teleport for her to get to the top. You can go in and A and G her and start the gift. And you just start save teleporting during the gift with the other two party members. Also, if your alacrity mounts aren't exactly the same as me, it's perfectly fine. I'm mostly just showing you that to demonstrate that the dupe is working. Believe me, the dupe is, you know, there's nothing very scientific about it. No matter what, you're going to end up with way more um, thermal detonators than you need. Anyway, get one of them over, pause immediately, then set up yet another yes. dip. Like so, and get the next one over, make sure that they get through. And if you do the uh, quick save on the load in, uh, sorry, the AMG on the load in, just make sure that you go ahead and do the uh, swap around deal and the opening the menu because it can mess up. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, just AMG this. Anyways, as soon as she begins speaking, uh, we can go ahead and force power like this. And I hit R, like my default action, to immediately speak to her, but you just skip her dialogue, you just, uh, sorry. You force power as soon as she begins speaking. I realized that wasn't super clear. I'm kind of rushing through this. <laughs> yeah, you guys mash her to stay true to the light side. No big deal. And uh, yeah, you could just mash that. Single quick save. You load your fast lane. Evan Hawk. You know, simple, simple. Fast lane back. I always pause here to make sure this cutscene doesn't start. You run car into the Evan Hawk. Your saves now they're deleted, so you can cast four speed. You're gonna book it towards the hyperdrive. Stand right here. And the bam, it's repaired. And now we're in the final stretch. We're gonna go do a Star Forge. Okay. So yeah, um, and the easiest way to do this skip is the AMG before touching the galaxy map. And here you go. Uh, you could go ahead and select this, and you can hit U if you want to dupe again. It's not necessary. You can uh, cancel and free look, and that will skip the two and a half minute cutscene. Super great, good stuff. All right, we're here. We can go ahead and cast uh, this, and oh, my mouse is invisible. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I I use an alacrity. You don't have to. But it'll just make your four speed last like five ever. Anyways, uh, Jolie. Four skip for this. Jolie gets a level up. Skills don't matter. Powers, he needs four speed. That's why we did this. Anyways, solo mode him. Oops, solo mode him. I'm here. And I like to uh, throw a nerve belt on him. Mm -hmm. Not necessary at all. I'm just going to throw it on both of us just to make life way easier. Anyways, and that's when you start running. Alrighty. You get the gift set up. Also, uh, okay, swap. What? I forgot to cast four speed with Jolie, which sucks. 
And there's nothing much I could do about it now. I'm here. So this isn't ideal. Ideally, you would cast Force Speed of Jolie beforehand. But those are just minor optimizations. This is here to show you the route. Jolie's gonna be slow as dirt until we do cast it, though. <laughs> well, that was a very quick, quick turnaround. Alrighty, and you stick our face in the corner here to get. And in the meantime, Jolie, let's get moving. Quest door. Another dip. Do 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 yeah, sometimes this can be a bit sketchy here, especially if there's like just no combat available. But nevertheless, it looks like everything worked out. And like normal, you shove them into the corner. And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a safe game for deck one. I'm here. And then we can head inside. Go in, please. Thank you. Alrighty. So, something the buffer right here, solo mode beforehand. I'm here. This is a very bad buffer. Oh my god, my character's barely moving. Alright. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yep, yeah, uh, make sure force speed's active. Start running in towards the door. Force speed active. I'm here. And yeah, you could just start moving. This time I actually cast force speed to Joe Lee, so he's much quicker. You could flourish weapon of him to move. Give him good distance. You get him down the ramp some, teleport over here. Hurry up and get the kit started so Joe Lee doesn't die a horrible death at the hands of all the Sith. I just saw in Discord indie called Bob a myth, and I've never been more triggered. Alright. Command center is where we enter. It only takes like one save, don't worry about it. And yep. Then from there, you're gonna go ahead and save this in the second slot. Doesn't really matter where you save, as long as it's not over the first one. And we're gonna load our first slot. Okay. Once you're in here, uh, you're, you, can, you need to go ahead and quick save AMG. Quick save is important. Do the standard hotshot setup. Should be down twice because we're going to deck one and we want to move our deck three safe here all right and just like that we've gone to deck one and yeah jolie please don't trigger this damn it all right that sucks if they trigger that just walk back in anyway here we are in deck one uh jolie we're gonna move him just over here ish doesn't matter how far you move as long as he's like past there as soon as Jolie's here, we're going to save this over the first slot, and then we are going to load in our uh, second slot here. And now we're going to hotshot back to deck three. So, exit game, save game, down once. Our destination is the command center. We're moving this save with Jolie in the correct position. Quick save all caps, you load it up. All right, and as you see, Joe Lee spawns right in the meditation chamber, right? And there's the door he needs to go to. I always solo mode here, so we don't cause any issues. You're gonna AMG, start a dip. Yes. Joe Lee doesn't need to go far, it's just like here-ish is good enough. I'm gonna give him full speed. Anyway, uh, he clips through that no problem if you put his face up the Malik. Now you're gonna set him up with an AMG here. The trigger is right here, and it's going to teleport the main character here. Like so, you can immediately cancel. You can walk forward some during this if you want. As soon as Malik's out of the way, you can run past him. Jolie may not be close enough. All right, and now it's time for the Malik fight. So if all has gone well, you should have a lot of um, grenades. There's there's your 96 thermal detonators. We estimate that you only really need 30. I kind of went a bit ham. Also, all those frag grenades that you didn't use on Terrace are here, so maybe buy less of those. Also, I guess I didn't use all my conks. Oh yeah, because I wasn't conking the governor. Anyway, there's the thing. You're going to have a lot of grenades, but thermals are the real approach. Killing Malik with thermal detonators is more art than science. Good luck. Uh, if Jolie dies, we have a backup level up here, and you could try and give yourself something to destroy the well, Jedi popsicles with. 
So you mask this up. And so you start off, swap to the thermal depths, queue some up, get Jolie out of the way, have him queue some up as well. Main character's trying to run in, that kind of sucks. Stop that. We're just gonna throw it at our feet. And there you go, Malik's down. And Jolie is perfectly alive. Down to Ian. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except Except for one difference. difference. Mash through the popsicle cutscene, he sucks the orange juice, we watch. Alright, main character just queues up some attacks while Jovi gets busy. And he needs to be on. Uh, oops, it should be. Destroy Droid, there you go. Do it! There we go. You know the drill, just destroy the droids. Main character keeps Malik busy, hopefully. Do -do -do -do. If he doesn't attack this one, you can actually uh, you can actually reach this one from up here. Just a heads up. It's not a lot of people know that trick. Looks like Malik got tired of the main character and is oh no, still going for the main character. That's good. All right. That's the case. Uh, hit him with a grenade. Disengage. Grenade. What? Jolie's dead. That happens sometimes. It's no big deal. When you get him in a good spot like this where he's not moving backward anymore, you could just. Okay, he just force jumps to me while lying on the ground. That's something new. Anyways, you just want to keep him kind of stun locked like this. And eventually he'll go down. There he is. Malik's dead. Crab raid. Ba 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 ba. Malik's dead. Alright, and that's how you do any percent, kind of. I realized that wasn't kind of the greatest in the world. Malik's not looking too good down there. Well, you get the idea. That's the general route, and um, if you've done NMG before, most of what I said should make sense. Uh, ex the ex explanation for AMG, I'll link other videos for that. I hope my hotshot explanation is okay. One way or the other, you'll probably get used to all the tricks in this as this goes through. Yeah, so just to go over them, um, you did buffers, some cast cancelling to avoid casting four speed, some safe teleports. AMG, you just hit Alt F4 during a save or a load screen. It's during a save screen, particularly a quick save, you need to open and close the menu. Uh, fast lanes, you use a uh, pop-up replacement to pull or return to Evanhawk or return to hideout to your save. Hot shots, you know, it's just you know going to a pre-existing save, all that kind of stuff. Duping, just make sure you press your equipment menu button while the galaxy map's open before um, doing your map CS skip. And that is any percent. Hope you liked it. Alright, and let's stop the recording. Recording.